Uh, the indoor season is always a little tough for us uh, because we train outdoor all year round. Um, a lot of times we get to the meet and for some of our athletes it's the first time they've ever been on an, on an indoor track. You know, whether it's 300 meters, 200 meter flat, 200 meter bank, it's all different than what we, we actually train on. Uh, so that, it's always a little tough. Like every other season we prepared ourselves mentally to compete. Uh, we always talked about getting a title as a team, getting a team title, getting individual champions on the team. And uh, I think this week we only had three guys who, were, who actually competed, but as a whole we were focused on still getting a title even though there's only three of us. And we came out fifth overall, which still wasn't bad at all for the number we took. I just kind of focused on doing what I had to do, going there, executing. I, I went in there expecting to win and I wasn't going to take anything, anything but that. Um, I also wanted to break the records, the, the 60 meter record and the 200 record. And so that was my main focus the entire time. I didn't let anybody else try to, who, who did try to intimidate me, intimidate me. Like it just didn't, it just didn't work for me. I was just too focused and too ready to, too ready to go. Unfortunately, I couldn't uh, break the records, but I'm still grateful and glad I was able to get the wins. One of the goals coming in was to make sure that he was strong enough to, to, to double. Um, you know, and that was the, the main goal was winning the 60 and, and the 200, which is easier said than done. Um, you know, when I, I thought he went out and, and he was dominant at the beat. Um, although I know another one of his goals were, were to break both of the, the national records in the 60 and the 200, um, you know, I thought he performed well. He, he carried us for the most part, and um, he left everybody in, in the stands at all. In all, you know, everybody was after the trials. You know, not wondering who was going to win. They were asking how fast he was going to run. So that just showed you, you know, all the work that he put in actually paid off. You know, I've never seen him work harder than he has this season. Um, you know, he's gotten better on the track and off the track. You know, he was. Super challenge in the classroom, having to take two extra courses um, that you know we wouldn't let him compete or practice until he, he had those under control, and he met that challenge head on, and you know did well in the classroom and, and earned his right to to compete. And every challenge we've thrown at him, he, he's he's met it head on, and, and he's conquered it. So that's always positive to see from you know early your best athlete, the best athlete in the country is that. Okay, he's challenged, he, he understands that he must do everything that everyone else is doing, plus, you know, so um, I think his hard work definitely showed um, this past weekend, and I think it, it's definitely going to motivate the team to do better, because they see how hard he works in practice, and they see the results that he got, you know, with being named the Regional Athlete of the Year, being named the National Athlete of the Year, you know, first in the men's program history, you know, so that's something that the guys see and they look up to and they, they shoot for in the future, so um, I thought everything he's receiving is well deserved because he's earned it, you know, nothing was given to him, um, and he, he knows we don't treat him any different than anyone else and we expect the same things from everyone else, that, you know, from him that we expect from everyone else, and he steps right up to the challenge and he he shows up every day with his hard hat on and, and he goes to work, so. I think it, every, time I, every time I accomplish something new, it's always exciting and, and it's always fun for me. Um, I, like I said, I, I'm not too thrilled with how, with how I did, but I'm grateful all the same. Um, it's, it's, it's an amazing feeling to be, to be announced as National Athlete of the Week. I, I remember I was waiting for them to announce it because I saw the tweet the day before that I was in contention. So um, now that I am, I'm just going to carry this momentum and, and keep going and get it again outdoor. Now we're just focused on using everything we, we learned all through the season and trying to carry it outdoor. We train on an outdoor track, so going from indoor season to outdoor is, shouldn't be a problem for us. This is what we've been trained to do this whole time. And we've all been saying it all year that we feel stronger than we have before. We feel faster than we have before. And so for us to get outside and compete is going to be something exciting. Some people have already started um, competing. Quinlan started competing, I believe, last week or two weeks ago, and he's already been Pac West Athlete of the Week. So that just goes to show that we're excited for outdoor and we're ready to go.